Hey everybody, welcome. Welcome to this video. Uh, in this video, we're going to show you that how you can install uh, Eclipse on your Ubuntu 19.04. And uh, the idea is that you have to have JDK installed in your system in order to work with Java. So um, I'm going to put in the link in the description of the video in which I've shown you that how you can install JDK, the latest JDK on Ubuntu. So go ahead, watch that video, and then you can come back and continue watching this video, okay? So uh, if you don't have JDK Java installed in your system, then probably the program, the first program that I would write in the Eclipse, that would not work for you, okay? So if you already have JDK installed, so you can check it, like if it is installed or not. So you, you can just write here Java. And then you can write here version, okay? You hit enter, and this is the Java version, right? That we have 11.0.2. So it means uh, Java is installed in our system. So if it is not installed, it would give you an error, or it would give you a command, a list of commands that in order to install Java, use these commands, okay? So we have Java on this system. So in order to install Eclipse, you go to your browser, and uh, in here, you just type in Eclipse. You hit enter and uh, this is the first website probably eclipse.org so just click on the download button and it would take you to the download page probably and this is the download 64 bit okay this is the button that you need to click on okay so you click on it so you can see here you have dot tar dot gz file okay so again you hit the download button and it would start to download eclipse for your ubuntu okay 64 bit so we just save it we hit okay and it would start to download it okay so we'll wait all right so once it is installed you can go here click on this folder button and you can see that we have this .tar.gz file right here so we can extract it right here. So when we extract it, you can see that we have this folder Eclipse inst Linux 64. So you click on it, then you have Eclipse installer, you click on it again. And here we have Eclipse inst file, okay? So this is the one uh, which we need to work on. So we right click on it. So this is a binary uh, file. So we right click on it and you can see that we have a run option here so we run it and it would start to run the eclipse installer and it would sh it would basically start to install it all right let me just close all of that So you will see a window like this, and after that, you'd write, uh, you you'd click here, Eclipse IDE for Java developers, and uh, once you click on it, uh, it would ask you to install uh, it on a specific folder. So I want to keep that path. I don't want to change it. So I'd click on install, and then it would you know pop up this agreement. So yes, except now. So it would start to install it. So now the installation process is about to happen and it is happening. So we will. Then you will see a page like this. And obviously, um, you have to accept it. Okay. These all, uh, these are the agreements of the software. And then you will wait. So on your way to installation, um, you would see something like this. This is the pop-up. So you need to do like select all. I would select all. So after that, I would write uh, click on this accepted. And uh, then it would start to install. So now you can see that it has completed the installation. So what I can do, I can launch it from here. And now it will be launched okay so you can see that this is eclipse it's start it is starting so right here you can actually select the location of your workspace where you where you want to save your java projects all right so i want to keep it the same so i would launch it right so now it would basically launch my eclipse 
So once the Eclipse is opened, you can see that this is the welcome screen. So you can actually minimize it or cross it. Then you can come here and then you can create a Java project as well. Okay, so or you can go here to the new and you can select the Java project. And in here you can name the project. So I could name it like my first project. All right. So naming it like this, this is just a convention in Java. So we'd keep the use and execution environment JRE, uh, Java SC 11. And um, yeah, pretty much it. So we'll just finish it. So I would keep everything the same and then it would basically create the project and it is asking for the confirmation. So it's say create project and you can see that we have um, my first my first project. Okay. So now we would click on uh, right click on the source and uh, we go on new then we hit on class okay so we click on class and we come here and we name the class let's let's call this class hello world okay so this is the hello world class we'd keep it public and then we would select this option public static void main which would basically create this class as a main class and it would have this main section in which we could write the code and execute okay uh, so we finish it and it would create a class named as hello world.java and you can see that that this is right here so after that what we're gonna do I would just write here a simple um, print statement so we'd write here system dot out dot print ln and then inside of that we'd write let's say hello world okay so now we would see the green button here uh, and we we'll run it and obviously it would ask for the conf uh, confirmation that which class do you want to run and you can see that here we have the output as hello world so that's it from this video um, I hope you have enjoyed it. You have learned something new. So if we repeat it in this video, we have learned um, how to install JDK. I have given the link in the description. You can go and check that out first. And then we have learned how to um, install Eclipse. All right. And then we have seen how to run our first program on Eclipse. So remember, this program would not work if you don't have JDK. All right. So go in, go to the link in the description if you still have not installed it, the JDK, and um, install it first, all right? So for written articles, you can visit our website, linuxin.com, and I will see you in the next video.